Ductmate Industries, leading the way around the world in innovative duct connection technology with manufacturing and sales offices worldwide, featuring rectangular, round, and oval high-performance duct connection systems in all applicable alloys. This instructional video has been developed by Ductmate Industries to clearly demonstrate the specific assembly and installation procedures associated with the patented SpiralMate self-sealing round duct connector system. The SpiralMate round duct connection system, which is designed for use with both Spiralock and longitudinal seamed round duct, is available in two profile sizes with a wide variety of standard and specialty metals for virtually any HVAC application. The SpiralMate system is sold as a complete connection set. Each set consists of two precision roll-formed flange rings with a specially formulated non-hardening, high-performance mastic injected into the sealant pockets. An innovative one-bolt precision roll-form connector band compresses the high-density, closed-cell neoprene gasket between the spiral mate flanges, resulting in a quick, safe, and completely sealed connection. All spiral mate connector sets are assembled at the factory, with each diameter uniformly stacked on pallets using specially designed spacer clips for stability and to prevent damage. When multiple diameters are ordered, they are nested on pallets for convenience in shipping, handling, and staging on site. Care must be taken when unpacking the connector sets to ensure that the legs of the flanges do not slide into the mastic pockets of adjacent flanges. This can cause damage to the mastic, which must be recocked with a compatible sealant before installing the flange onto the duct wall. In preparation for installation, loosen the nut and bolt on the closure band assembly. Expand the closure band and remove the two spiral mate flange rings. After removing the spiral mate flange rings from the closure band, face the flange ring in the same direction as care must be taken to ensure that the mastic in the flange pockets is not damaged or compromised. Key things to remember. Spiral mate flanges must be removed from the closure ring before installation. When handling spiral mate flanges, place flanges in one direction to avoid damaging the mastic. If the mastic becomes damaged, it must be recocked before installing. Before you begin, examine the ends of each duct section. In the event there is a severe offset present on the ends of the duct, Trim as needed so that the mastic pocket of the spiral mate flange can be properly seated around the circumference of the duct wall. The spiral mate flange rings can be installed with the duct in either the vertical or horizontal position, depending on duct length. When installing the spiral mate flange on horizontal duct sections, the duct must be propped up on both ends at least one and a half inches from the ground to allow for clearance of the spiral mate flange. A 2x4 at each end of the duct section or a set of rollers are ideal for this purpose. Begin installing the spiral mate flange ring onto the end of the duct wall, starting on one side at the break in the ring, and make sure that the inner leg of the spiral mate flange is on the air side of the duct wall. Temporarily clamp the leg of the flange to the duct wall with a vice grip. Using a rubber mallet to prevent damaging the face of the spiral mate flange, seat the mastic pocket of the flange onto the duct wall, working in one direction and establishing metal-to-metal -metal contact. If the duct is undersized and there is no break in the flange, cut the flange end so that a small break is visible. Begin securing the leg of the flange to the duct section by placing a screw, spot weld, stitch weld, or pop rivet a half inch from the break in the flange. Make certain that all fasteners are positioned towards the lower portion of the inner leg of the spiral mate flange to allow for adequate clearance and compression of the closure band when completing the connection. Note that the ductmate repeater gun can be used in the fastening process and is specially designed for clamping and fastening the spiral mate profile. Continue seating and fastening the spiral mate flange in one direction around the duct wall at evenly spaced intervals as noted in the installation and assembly manuals. Clamping with vice grips as needed and ensuring metal to metal contact is established before fastening. Key things to remember. 
Before installing the SpiralMate flange, inspect duct ends for severe offsets and make corrections as needed. Completely seat the mastic pocket of the flange onto the duct wall, making metal-to-metal -metal contact. Ensure there is a visible break at the split in the SpiralMate flange. Consult the assembly manual for proper fastening intervals. Before applying the gasket, be sure the flange faces are free from dirt and debris. Firmly press a short piece of Ductmate 440 butyl gasket over the visible break, covering the raw edge of the duct wall on both SpiralMate flanges. On one flange only, apply the neoprene gasket starting away from the break in the flange. Continue applying the gasket to the flange face around the entire circumference. For both the large and small profile, always keep the neoprene gasket flush to the outside of the flange face. At the break in the large profile flange, the gasket must be offset to cover the raw duct edge. Where the neoprene gasket meets, the ends should be butted together. Key things to remember. Before applying the gasket, make sure that the flange face is clean. Ensure that a short strip of Ductmate 440 butyl gasket is placed over the break in the flange. When using the large profile, be sure that the gasket is offset to cover the raw duct edge. To complete the connection, draw the ducts together using the spiral mate alignment grips to obtain adequate alignment and gasket compression. Alignment grips are important in making a proper connection and additional grips may be required on a large diameter duct. Separate the ends of the closure ring and begin feeding one end of the ring around the flange and through the alignment grips. Before inserting the bolt, be sure that the short leg of the closure ring is over top of the long leg. Tighten the bolt on the closure ring until it makes even contact around the circumference of the flanges, periodically tapping the circumference of the closure ring with a mallet to help create an even draw. Remove the spiral made alignment grips and continue tightening the bolt, again periodically tapping the closure ring. The SpiralMate closure band is engineered to simplify the connection process by eliminating the need for screws or bolts at the connection. This closure band allows for flexibility, adjustability, and safety at each connection. Key things to remember. Use SpiralMate alignment grips to assure proper alignment of mating flanges. Tap the closure ring around the circumference with a mallet while tightening. Make sure the alignment grips are removed before completely tightening the bolt on the closure band. The spiral make connection is now complete. Quick and safe with a professional appearance at a lower installed cost. The spiral mate system is also available with an optional Ventmate closure band. The wider Ventmate closure band has a high density closed cell neoprene gasket incorporated into the band to enhance and seal the connection where flush, straight connections are not possible. For double wall and insulated duct, the SpiralMate system is available with a 1 inch or 2 inch wide matching alloy inner ring designed to encapsulate and protect the leading edge of the insulation at each connection. These inner rings can be purchased separately or factory installed for added convenience. When purchased separately, install the SpiralMate self-sealing flanges to the outer duct wall first. Then, install the patented press-on inner rings onto the face of the SpiralMate flange, pressing firmly around the circumference. Press-on inner rings are available for 1 inch or 2 inches of insulation. Complete the connection as outlined for single wall applications. The inherent simplicity and adjustability of the SpiralMate system makes it ideal for fabricating gourd elbows. Simply install the SpiralMate system as you normally would to eliminate the time-consuming alignment and welding process of each gourd segment. Simply loosen the closure bands as needed on the gourd segments and re-tighten for quick and precise alignment of the fitting. A uniquely designed and engineered solution for virtually any round commercial HVAC application, the SpiralMate self-sealing round duct connector system incorporates a range of value-added features to get the job done at a lower installed cost than conventional connectors. Small profile sizes available from 8 to 38 inches in diameter and larger profile sizes from 30 inches to over 100 inches in diameter. 
tested to 18 inches positive and 10 inches negative static pressure, eliminates the need for additional messy sealants and the associated labor cost. The one bolt closure band eliminates the need for fasteners at the connection, enhancing worker safety and productivity, as well as the adjustability of fittings. A clean uniform connection is ideal for exposed systems as an architectural feature. Available in six different alloys for a wide range of specialty applications. Available without mastic for high temperature systems. Optional Ventmate gasketed closure band for mining and tunnel applications. One inch and two inch inner rings are available for insulated duct systems. SMACNA states that frequently a contractor installing a high velocity duct system will employ a duct joint with which they have no experience. In such a case, it is strongly recommended that the contractor promptly test the initial 100 to 300 feet of duct before installing any more duct. This test will quickly reveal whether the workers can make this joint airtight economically. For application assistance or Autodesk Revit files, please contact Ductmate Industries at 1-800-245-3188 or visit our website at ductmate.com.